Hey guys, Catfights9 here, and today's the Telfon title of the video. I'm going to be playing um, Black Hawk Rescue Mission. Now, this is a Roblox game um, which is set off an oldish Roblox game. This one was made in the beginning of the year, but there was another one called Black Hawk Rescue Mission 3, which was, I think, loosely based off this one. But they made some improvements, some things they need to work on, and I reckon in some mistakes they should really fix ASAP. But I've been playing this for a while, as you can see on the top right hand corner. I'm a general, you shall know me as Sir from now on, or Er uh, if you're Aussie. But look at all that XP, I've been playing this for a bit, it's really addictive, if you've got a lot of time for it. Helicopters. You're not going to see one of those in my video ever again because they are so rare, those Chinooks. There's some hummingbirds or whatever. I prefer the Chinooks because you just hop on it and you don't get an air. Oh, uh, your face full of air, whatever you're flying in it, but... Yeah, that's the last you're going to see of the helicopters because that's one of the main things I'm going to say. Well, one of the first things I'm going to say is about the helicopters. Really, you need to buy the helicopters. Well, at least just the Chinook. This game pass costs 200 Robux. You know how many people have 200 Robux? It should have been 200 ticks. That would have made more sense. You know, ticks the old fashioned um, currency for Roblox. Look at this. Stars. You know how long I have to play this game to get two stars? So long. Someone has to devote their whole life to getting a hummingbird. And what was the other one? A black hawk. I've never seen a black hawk in this game. It's probably because it's so rare. Or maybe no one even has it. But it's pretty cool with the, with the teams. Yeah, but the helicopters now we're going to find. That has to change ASAP. I can't even look at myself because I'm just so mad about that. The old black hawk rescue mission... You had to be rescued in a certain team, and then your team would have access to helicopters. And other teams would be like parachuters, infantry, so that was cool. But I understand why there's not teams in this one, because it's rank, you level up promotions, which I do like that concept. And the vehicles, they, they just need more variety in the vehicles, like look at this car. There is Hunvi, which I see quite a bit of. There's at least two or one in each server. And the Jeep. Everyone has the Jeep. I don't really like the Jeep very much. <laughs> because I've sort of gone bored of it. I want another vehicle to drive around in. And I definitely need more priority in this thing. Priority. I can't speak today. <laughs> Also, a new backpack, which I'm sure they're working on. You can't get a new backpack, but it's here, so it definitely shows you that they're working on it. The gears, as well, I do like the gears, med kits and all that. They do a good job with that. But also, the customization is superb. I like it. You start off as the SAS. Not the SASR. The SAS, for some <laughs> I really want an Australian Special Forces on here, but it's not really on here. I guess because they're too secretive, no one really knows what they do. The SAS, you start off as SAS, as a private rank, and it's all the way up to Sergeant, I think. Then you get Gigan, or G-I-G-N if you want to be that specific. But Gigan's like the Russian, uh, the French Special Forces or Police. And now this. I know next to nothing about this thing, I've never heard of it. Nor have I heard about this one. I've heard of Delta Force, so that's an American one, but this is a Canadian Special Forces. It just looks like military Special Forces, though, where Gigan is a police Special Forces, a Grenadier Special Forces. The weapons are good as well. Look at this, a scope. This scope, there's only two scopes. And only really fight in the game do you get this scope. The other one sort of sucks. So definitely need more scopes. It would be great if it had customization of weapons like um, 
expand forces. You know, it's just a suggestion to the owner. And I do like the rank system. But there's a rank before you hit general called Commander. Which in the Australian Army I've never heard of a rank called Commander, but America might have a rank called Commander. There's usually it's usually ah oh, general or a captain, he's the commander of the team and all that. Commander, I don't really It's not an Aussie thing, that's that's for sure, but <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about the rank commander, but general, general, he's got that right. In every military, really, general is the highest brass. He can't go above it. So that's cool. He's got the rank all done, and the map is actually beautiful. And I like how it's set in a bit of an apocalyptic setting, like the other Blackhawk Rescue Mission 3. How there's, there's the enemy factions, like the zombies and also the Russians no disrespect to any of those Russians you're just the enemy in this <laughs> in this game for some reason so you sort of got to think like what is going on you know oh I'm not the best driver I was going way too fast <laughs> but yeah it makes you think that there might be a story behind it like this could be America or Europe and the special forces community sort of kicking them out of here holding spots because there's so many places like there's the docks here's the city as well just so you know before you play it yep this is where all the newbies go to um, get XP get experience the zombies don't really pre well don't really present much of a threat the Russians are your worst enemy though you don't want to mess with the Russians. And this is called the factory there. This is sort of where the semi pros go to. Mm. Oh my god. I'm not saying that I'm pro, but I am pretty good. Okay, Russians. Screw those Russians. Whoa. I'm getting inside. <laughs> Alright, you guys see firsthand how beast this gun is. And game as well. Oh crap, it wasn't the flare. Don't worry, you can't kill your own team. I'm gonna throw a flare. Get out of the way so I can actually kill someone. Okay. Human shield. There we go, that's one Russian. Okay. I might need a heal up. But as you may have seen, the Russians deal 4 XP. Uh, 50 XP, I mean, per, per kill. Well, uh, the zombies... Out of my way, I wanted that guy. <laughs> the zombies only deal 10. Which is a bit of a shame. Get out of my way, idiot! <laughs> there we go. Is He left the game, I think. He was so pissed off at how bad that guy was. What's that? Is he trying to shoot through the window, lol? Oh, I've already healed myself. Okay. Can't tell. Yeah, sadly, you can't shoot through windows. Oh, crap. But yeah, these Russians are pretty um, tough. See, you can't just run out to help this guy because he was killed by someone. So you gotta keep an eye out. That's where you die from. Very hidden, very sneaky that guy is. Okay, no more. You see, that sort of would have been bad if it was just me, if I was alone. But thankfully I had some cannon fodder. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. And also some cover always helps. Don't underestimate these Russians. In numbers, they can attack on any enemy. But really, what wins the day is experience and also um, teamwork. Alright. 
Okay, I'm gonna skip you guys to another location. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the locations and maybe where to, you can get to them. Okay, this next area I'm gonna show you is known as the docks. Though some idiots call it the, the naval base. This place is meant for uh, yeah, some of the pros or if um kill you and you. Oh. It's meant for the semi-pros, but yeah, some newbies come here, but when the newbies do come here, they they feel that they can take on the whole army by themselves, but they mostly end up just being cannon fodder. You're freaking sc- ah, uh, yeah, I did come up on him with a surprise. Okay, yeah, it's pretty big. The Russians mainly do come here. They are... Here's radio. Nope. He doesn't know I'm making a video. <laughs> oh, he's chasing me. Oh yeah, this is... Docs, this is where you'll mainly be dropped off if you do catch a helicopter here or a ride. They'll come here. You gotta try and defend it, even though if they don't have lieutenants, where are you going, General? Away, <laughs> away from you. Ah, uh, reset ten times. Okay, that's what I've been telling people. You get stars by getting a thousand, a thousand XP. Don't reset ten times because you're gonna get nowhere. Now this next place that I'll show you is really only for the pros. I would only suggest it for the majors slash colonels and above. Cause it's for, it's far away, you're gonna be alone. And it is the Russians um home territory, I'm pretty sure. So let's just get this way away from this guy. Goodbye, fool. <laughs> A general, he didn't even call me sir or er, uh, he just called me general. What does he think he is higher than me? <laughs> well, yeah, I should have just called him private. I actually didn't get his rank, but what surprised me if he was private. Yeah, just head north to these next locations. You might think the city, the factory, and the docks are the only two things. You'd be mistaken, that's what many people do think. They just go to those two and never really explore. You should explore because you'll find roads, different cities, different barracks to raid. It's just... But yeah, still, it's really only for the pros because you're gonna have no backup because no one comes up here except for other pros. I like to call them the wolves really because they're lone wolves. Going out here and high ranks means they're really professional and I've got the best equipment. Like me, I've got gear, because most of the places out here don't have medic bays, so you can't heal yourself. That's why I suggest getting yourself a... Uh... Oh, there's a zombie town. Oh, no, I only found out a few days ago. <laughs> but I would suggest bringing a medic bag with you, and also a flare. Because it does get dark and flares light up a whole lot of ground. The med kit, you're almost dead. You're so far away from a medic thing. No problem, just take your medic, uh, just use your medic pack. And then you'll be all fine. Alright, I'll come back once I get to the, the Russian base. Okay, sh I found a Russian base. You gotta rush it because they're gonna shoot you instantly once they see you. Here they are. Here they go, trying to shoot me. Don't underestimate them, but... Yep. You gotta ram the side. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, this is a glitch. Well, I found a glitch, everyone. Oh, well, let's see what's underneath it. Oh, God. I'm gonna suffocate, aren't I? 
Such a big map. Okay, I'll come back once I actually get back up there. Far out, I hate that. This never happened to me before, but man, I already hate it so much. Just one thing before I make it back there. The tip is to just head north west. Because you might follow a road up there next to the docks to get up to these bases. But if you just want to go off road, it's faster from the airfield. You just head northwest. Then you'll find a road, and that road will lead you to one of the Russian bases. I think there is three Russian bases in the northern end of this island. Because it is an island, I'm pretty sure. At least it looks like an island, because there's beaches throughout the whole way. I have been to the right area, but I should probably check that next, because the map is really huge, and I haven't really explored all of it. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Car, I'm so close. Yeah, just head northwest, and then you should find it, so you don't have to find the road, then follow it across these towns. Oh, what else is? Ah, it's another Russian base. This one's more difficult -er because there's bloody zombies. They come up when you're like crazy. That Russian flag, that's how you can tell it's occupied by Russians. Yeah, so as it does get pretty dark in this game, so you might not have been able to see very well. Okay. The first thing you gotta look for is the head. Yep. Man, they are tough. You shoot them in the legs like 50 times, they still survive. Okay, you gotta be careful. Some of them run at you, and some of them are stationary. Like this one's right for you. There we go. If that, I took more than half health. I would still be okay because I got a med kit. Now I've already, and I've seen they spawn in the same spot every single time. Okay, this may be a good thing to show you guys a grenade. Okay, that may be too far. Who knows? Okay, it looks like he's dead. Yeah, but grenades are really useful. You just gotta throw them at the right time. Okay. Oh, there's another guy in there. But yeah, this is where the higher ranks get their XP. This is how I became a general. If it were for just zombies, I believe would have still been a major, probably, because the zombies ten. The Russians are 50, so really, this is a way better way of getting it. Like, killing this whole base of Russians, I would have defeated the whole army of zombies to get that same XP. So, this is basically, but yeah, I won't suggest it for. Uh, privates or corporals because they'll just be wasting their time because they'll die and they'll just waste a lot of time getting to these places okay let's keep on searching because we cleared out one and you see a flag change that's how I know it's friendly but they will soon counter attack but when they do counter attack it is pretty hard to survive it alone okay this is the most northern point, and that's the main Russian base down there, if you can see it. Uh, maybe able to see it. We'll check out that place as well. <coughs> okay, they're going to start shooting at me. But this time, I hopefully will flip over before I jump out. Now I know that. <laughs> and now you guys know that as well, too. Not jump out where it's flipped. Okay. Have I been to this place before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's a few bases. Okay. There's going to be one fella running at me. Yep. I've done this quite a few times, so they spawn at all the same spots. Sometimes people go in the watchtowers, but I really don't get them very often. 
Okay, yeah, with this gun, you can pick them off from a distance. You just gotta get the right thing. Like this. Haha! <laughs> Take that. Okay, another one. This will be the last place I show you as well. There we go. Another 50 kill. Yeah, this is a good gun. If you ever get a promotion and it levels up any weaponry, take the leveled up weaponry or just try it out before you just keep using the other one. See, if more people had helicopters, there may be people on the radio saying like, oh, transport the Russian base, like who wants to, what squad wants to do this mission? Yeah, I remember, never trust weapons. They are pretty resourceful. More resourceful than the blaze zombies. And the zombies are pretty tough as well. They can catch you off guard because they just spawn wherever they please. Okay, can I kill you through there? Yeah, I remember doing it before. Yeah. No grenade, so I can't really kill them with the grenade. Ah, there we go, 50 XP. Only if there was um a Russian general, maybe, or a colonel, a Russian colonel, that would give you 60 XP. Not harder to kill, but it's like the commanding officer. And it would also be cool if killing that guy prevents any reinforcements or counterattack for a few a few minutes like that'd be cool killing the colonel okay guys now it's back <laughs> the blade colonel's dead no backup would come for a little while so that'd be a cool idea I know that it's only been around for a bit less than a month but already it is growing pretty, pretty well those older game players, those older um, Roblox players, would feel deja vu from the other one and Apocalypse Rising. This really reminds me of Apocalypse Rising. I see a general as myself single handedly took out this whole base and the other base. But if I were just a colonel or a major or even a captain, I probably wouldn't have been able to do two at the same time. Oh, you would have probably had to have gone back for my grenade or stuff like that. Yeah, this is, you could try it out if you want below that rank, but really you get more out of it if you are the higher ranks because you are the, the wolves in this forest <laughs> because you can take on anyone really. And you probably won't see many people wearing this camouflage as well because only people who are generals. I think the general rank is the first rank that you can wear this, so <laughs> you won't be seeing many of these around the place if you do decide to play it. But yeah, it's me done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys do check this out because it's worth your while. Maybe even when this like video comes out, they'll bring out an update. That gives you a new backpack. Because on this uniform, this backpack really doesn't make sense. This is multicam, I think. And the uh, Canadian uniform has the Canadian camouflage, so... Yeah. And the owner, or the maker, or the, the developer. If you're watching this, of this game, I mean... You should add more Special Forces uniforms. So maybe fill in those pieces where... You get a promotion, then you wear it to really show you what rank you are. And you should totally add the Special Air Service Regiment, which is the Australian Special Forces, well, the most elite Special Forces in Australia. Yeah, you know, set off the Special Forces of Britain, like the SBS and SAS. Oh, there's a reinforcement. Oh, and they just take the spots of the units that died. But yeah, you should totally add other nations, maybe like the Polish Special Forces. 
if you're American, I, lo I know those Americans like to add American special forces all the time, like, sort of Delta Force there, but maybe also, um, the SEALs, I think they're called. I uh, know SEALs, SBS, so Special Boat Service, you know, those are just ideas for you. And things that I would like to see in this game. That would make it greater. <laughs> and also easier helicopters, that's all. Okay, that's it. Catfish is nine out.